rainy day. Welcome to the Camp Life Bros kitchen here. Uh, we're gonna be doing a quick recipe here of pasta carbonara. Um, campfire pasta carbonara is what we're doing. I got this recipe from theartofmanliness.com um, and it's gonna be just me, no Camp Life Bros here, it's just me and my Camp Life wife, V. V's man in the camera. What's up? Yeah. And here we are, we're gonna make some pasta carbonara. Um, very simple recipe. Uh, all it calls for is pasta, of course. We're using penne. Uh, on the Art of Manliness, they recommended this Pronto uh, brand. It came out a couple years ago. Um, it's one pan, no strainer. I think that's the benefit of it. Ready in 10 minutes. So the idea is that it gets cooked in the water and then the, it soaks up the water so that you don't have to use a strainer or anything. Um, we got some bacon here or pancetta if you want to bring pancetta, if you want to be fancy. Uh, we also have egg, some Parmesan cheese, fresh garlic, and it's all going to be cooked in one pot here. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, so in the Art of Manliness uh, uh, recipe, it calls for a pan, um, but I usually carry a pot when I'm out at the Camp Life kitchen. So we're just bringing this little tiny Stanley pot, um, and we're going to try to cook it in this. We don't know if it works, but stay tuned and find out. All right. All right, so we're gonna start minting the garlic for the pasta carbonara. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some fat in the pot. I got a little uh, lard is what I like to use. You can use whatever you want. I'm just gonna scoop some into there. And this is just to, this is just for, uh, so that we can fry the garlic up a little bit. All right, there we go. And now we're gonna mince that garlic. So break it up here. Break, break. Oops, tiny cutting board. Break this. off the get these peels off toss them into the garbage <laughs> that's the nice thing about the woods into the garbage 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 all right and now I'm just gonna kind of just chop it up. And you just kind of mince it like this too. Just kind of push and drag it. That should be the trick. How fine of a mint? I don't know. How refined you want it to be. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and toss this into the pot where this will be going over the fire. All right, so we're gonna heat up the garlic, the garlic with the fat, and just stick it on the fire here. Let that sizzle for a little bit. All right, it only took a couple seconds for it to start sizzling, using the chopsticks to uh, get that all stirred up. Ooh, it's going. 
We're just trying to get the flavor out of the garlic. Right, V? You gotta get it out. You gotta convince it. Your flavor come out. You ready? Ready or not, here it come. All right, I think that's, what do you think? What do you think, V? How does that look? Pretty brown? A little bit more? A little bit more. She says a little bit more. All right, we'll save this garlic for later. All right, we're gonna put the bacon on the fire now. After that, All right, bacon's done. Gonna take it off the grill and uh, just kind of set this off to the side here. You can do crispy bacon, but I think for carbonara, a little bit of chewiness might be nice. Okay. All right, now we're gonna boil the water. We can do about I think about 20 ounces or so, so to that line right there, I think. And we'll just throw that on the fire. Let that heat up, cover it up, and we'll get to boiling. All right, now we're just gonna cut up the bacon into small pieces. Looks so good, V. Mm. You want to bite? You want to save it? We will not eat it yet. Patience. A little crispy at the end here. I know crispy's your favorite. You know, a little crispy. Krispies, yeah. All right, the water is boiling. Um, I'm gonna start putting some pasta in there. Ooh, it's a rolling boil. Ooh, it's smoky. Obviously, I'm not measuring. <laughs> but if this thing is 12 ounces, um, I think I could do, if I did about a little bit more than half that would be six eight ounces which is a cup we'll try that all right now we're gonna let that boil for a little bit okay so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna grate this cheese this is a parmesan parmesan reggiano and we're gonna mix make a mixture with the eggs and we're doing this while the fire is going right now so I'm gonna set the eggs out of the bowl you can just use a Ziploc bag if you want to instead for this part. Um, but, uh, and if you really want to, you can uh, just take plain the cheese or grate the cheese before you come out. But I thought I'd do it for you guys using my fancy microplane. I love this tool. It just, so much more surface area in the is exposed when you use a microplane for the cheese. Um, and what that does is that just means more flavor. So here we go. I won't do the rind there. Let's do it like this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the eggs into this bowl here and um, whisking it up with the cheese. 
and I'm gonna use two eggs for this recipe. Um, Brett, or actually I'm not sure, Art of Manliness recipe calls for three eggs, but I'm not gonna be making that much because it's uh, just for me and V here. Um, so I'm just gonna use a spork and whisk it. Just mixing it up, and now I'm gonna add the cheese. All right, I'm gonna mix in the cheese. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. You know, with this recipe, I don't think it has to be super exact. Pasta carbonara, you know, it's that coal miner's food, so I doubt they measured this stuff. They just kind of did it by feel. So that's what we're gonna do here. Nice and Nice and frothy cheesiness right there. Probably add some black pepper to this mixture right now. Um, but I think I might go with just a little bit more cheese. Oh, that looks like some eggy goodness right there. I might save the rest of this cheese for topping, topping it afterwards. So I'll save that. But let's put some pepper in there. some black pepper I'm just gonna go maybe a spoon a finger and a half pinch and a half now we're just gonna mix in the pepper and we're ready to check on the pasta all right I took the lid off because I think we actually want the water to evaporate is the idea I don't know, we'll find out. But it's boiling and it's cooking. We can always add water if we need. Ooh, whoop. All right, it's been about 10 minutes now. I'm gonna take it off the fire and I think I'm gonna Try to strain some of the water out. Not all of it, because I want to leave a little bit in there for it to, um, for it to, you know, help cook the eggs a little bit. But we're just gonna dump some of this out. I'm gonna do a quick one like that, and maybe that should be good. I think. I put too much pasta in there. I would do a little bit less if you're just cooking for yourself. So, yo V, you want some uh, pasta carbonara? Yeah, pasta carbonara? All right, we're gonna give you a little cup of it too. We're gonna feed you too, okay? All right, All right V, you're gonna get a little bit of pasta carbonara too. Ooh, there's a lot of water. Oh, we lost one. You think that's too much water? What do you think, V? Should we strain a little bit more water? I think we probably should. All right, here we are. We're gonna start mixing in some of this, uh, that egg mixture, the egg and cheese mixture in, and get a little bit of garlic in there too. So, a little bit of garlic. Not that much. Start tossing that together. Let it cook in there. You want to take it off the fire when you're doing this because you don't want to cook it with the, uh, or else it'll turn into scrambled eggs. All right, ooh, that's looking good. Probably add a little bit more cheese. Grate some more cheese on top. Let's get some uh, bacon in there. So next time I would definitely use less pasta because this is a lot. It expands. Maybe even do a little bit more egg mixture. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And let's uh. So the egg, I know you were putting raw egg in there, but it's hot. They're hot noodles, so the egg's cooking just enough. Oh man, it's starting to rain. 
And now we'll top it with a little bit of our grated Parmesan. Oh, I didn't top it. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper here. How's that for campfire carbonara? Oh, let's taste this. You ready? Here we go. Tasting this with chopsticks. That's how Chinese people do it, V. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. So simple, garlicky, bacony, and that Parmesan hits you with that umami flavor. Camp Life Bros, um, we'll be doing more cooking videos like this just to show you it's not really about the recipes but just the way you cook. <laughs> Trying to make it efficient and effective in the woods. You know, some of this stuff that I do, like look at this, look, look what I got here. A little, just a chopped wood block just to put stuff on, that way we don't have to bring plates. I brought this little guy here because it's cute, but I don't really need that. This already packs in with this guy, you know, and I always bring my salt and pepper. And all you need is a spork. I didn't really need this uh, plastic cup. I could have just used a Ziploc bag, you know. But the less stuff you have to bring, you know. But at the same time, let's be honest. This isn't backpacking. We're not backpacking here. We just came out here on this uh, rainy, rainy afternoon and made a meal over the fire. So it's a luxury. These are obviously luxury items and a luxurious meal that doesn't take a lot of time to cook very few ingredients you can pack all this in in a you know little day pack and make a nice little nice little campfire carbonara so thank you to art of manliness who uh who developed this recipe i guess who inspired this recipe who inspired this meal um really excited to cook some more from there because i like the site and uh, yeah, so thank you viewers. Click and subscribe and uh, check out our other videos here and check out our site and look at uh, all the different, we got some tutorials on there. We got gear reviews, trying to get some more cooking videos up, you know. So check out the Camp, the camp Life Kitchen and check out our uh, some more uh, Camp Life reviews. Uh, camp Life Bros, signing out. V! Camp Life Bro and Camp Life Wife <laughs> signing out.